In 2020, Turkish-French relations came under the spotlight when tensions between the two countries reached an all-time high. During the crisis in the East Med, French President Emmanuel Macron sided with Greece, which was deeply troubled by Turkey's dealings in its maritime neighborhood. To understand France's firm response to Turkey's expansionism in the East Med, IFRI, in collaboration with the SWP's Center for Applied Turkish Studies, published five papers. In her contribution, Dorothée Schmid explains how the defense pact signed by France and Greece in September 2021 marks a strategic shift in the relationship in the Eastern Mediterranean and beyond. This rapprochement is part of a larger French strategy in the Mediterranean, where the strategic status quo has been shaken up over the past 10 years. Macron's rapprochement with Greece should be understood within a wider Mediterranean context. The French president indeed followed in the footsteps of his predecessors in creating formats to promote political dialogue and cooperation in the Mediterranean region. Paris wants to reposition itself as a major actor in the area by creating a network of alliances. Greece has become an indispensable partner in this regard. France's traditional Philhellenism is being reinforced by a number of factors. Athens has proven resilient to external geopolitical shocks. It is now not only a client for the French defense industry, but also a stable and resilient political interlocutor. Greece doesn't want to remain trapped in its standoff with Turkey and is now quickly opening to new geopolitical perspectives. Its historical friendship with Paris has been consolidated by France's attitude of solidarity during the sovereign debt crisis. French diplomatic experience now makes Paris an ideal partner to potentialize Greece's ambition of becoming a regional actor. In parallel, the Greeks try to distance themselves from the Cypriot issue, which has recently been reinvested by Turkey. The French-Greek honeymoon has stirred up controversy within the EU. Germany, favoring mediation when dealing with Turkey, is uncomfortable with the defense pact's confrontational tone. Moreover, the concept of strategic autonomy that Paris and Athens are promoting is not unanimously accepted. In fact, European strategic autonomy cannot be easily reconciled with NATO, of which France, Greece and Turkey are members. The military organization is weakened by the lack of cohesion among its members. And the mutual assistance clause signed between Paris and Athens widens the gulf between them and Turkey, which is the implicit target of the pact. The relationship with Turkey is actually of vital importance to Paris, so ideally in the future it would be interesting to see France working on the rapprochement between Greece and Turkey as they are two equally important allies.